Welcome to episode 301, Thrive Masiva, Beacon of Africa, 9 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 301, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 301, lesson 6 to lesson 9. Lesson number 1, value is the most important foundation of every company. His company is a company of prayer. The most important foundation for any business is the value system. Our value system at Econet is based on our faith and our belief in Jesus Christ. Econet is a, is a company of prayer, that we're going to be a praying company. And every single morning, for an hour in our company, I open the doors of my office for any member of the company to come and pray with me. Lesson number two, zero tolerance of corruption. Five year litigation process to get the telephone license. It was everybody knew that I was fighting a battle against corruption. I could have solved that problem in one day. Okay, by just agreeing to say, okay, I can accommodate this one, I can accommodate that one, it would have been over. And the people knew that. But I stuck it out, I went through the courts and fought the battle. So it says to people, A, you can, you can stand up for what is right. You can say no to corruption. Africa needed to hear that message very loud. That it is possible to be in business, to do to do it uh, with a zero tolerance to corruption, and you can be successful. Lesson number three, he learned entrepreneurship at home from his mother. Um, when, when I was a little boy, my mother, uh, she came up with this idea that uh, I should earn my own pocket money. So she bought me a box of chewing gum and I started selling them to my school, in my school. Uh, but I got lost on the way back home because I really couldn't read that well, because I was only little. So I quickly learned that you gotta be able to sell. I could count, but I couldn't read before. Uh, that's probably why I did maths and engineering. Lesson number four, he learned the mobile revolution at the University of Wales. I'm an, I'm an engineer in, in telecommunications, so the whole mobile revolution was something I had been tracking since school, actually. You know, when, when I was at university, we already knew what was going on, like most engineers do at, at school, you know. You, if you want to know what's going on in artificial intelligence, talk to the guys at Stanford. They'll tell you what's going to happen in 10 years. Lesson number five, worked very hard. He worked two jobs at age 25. He was a full-time employee and a part-time entrepreneur. By the, by the time I decided to set up Econet in 1993, I had been in business for about six or seven years. So I had a well-established business, because I started in 1986. So I was actually 25. And um, the, so I had built up a fairly successful uh, construction business. Lesson number six, creative marketing. Uh, getting people to accept mobile money, because you, you're talking to people who, who don't have money, they also had no bank accounts. So we had to persuade them that they could give us their money. In the case of Zimbabwe, they had faced 500,000% hyperinflation. So we went to the universities and we hired the university students. So they'd ride two by two. We talked to each other. And so get onto the bus and you I'm sending money to my cousin on the other side of town. The whole bus stops. Uh, and, and we also set uh, street uh, comedy where they will, someone will say, you've stolen my money. Uh, and they start a, a mock fight in the middle of a township. 
and people will always gather when there's a fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they then explain that actually you can't steal my money because it's in my phone. Lesson number seven, learn from your partners. Eat the meat, throw in the bones. How is it possible to compete with the Chinese? Compete with the Chinese? <laughs> We're gonna beat them. <laughs> But the China story is a remarkable story. They'll be the world's biggest economy within, within a decade. So, but at the same time, the greatest, most entrepreneurial country in the world is still the United States. Okay, it will be so for a long time. Respect that, you know, my pastor used to have a saying, eat the meat and throw away the bones. Okay? Look for the good things. Don't be critical of China. Reach out. Learn about them. Study them. Partner with them. Lesson number eight. 90% of his problems are with partners. 90% of his success are also from partners. So, you're not going to do it alone. You're going to have to do it with partners. They'll be capital partners. You're going to have technical partners. You're going to have supply partners, strategic partners. What skills do I need to get partners? To get the right partner? Let me share a secret with you. 90% <clears throat> of the problems I ever had in business had nothing to do with governments. Had nothing to do with regulators. It had to do with partners. And 90% of my success in business had to do with partners. How do you choose the right partner? Finally, let me give you the secret for it. It's like a marriage. If you are transactional, you'll have a problem. Lesson number nine. People, product, and process. Talks about the three P's. People, product, and process. You've got to have the people that don't come to work for a job. They come to work because they have a sense of purpose. You've got to also, obviously you've got to have a product you've got to sell to somebody that someone is willing to pay for. But where we fail the most on this continent is appreciation of process, is process building the systems, the structures that enable you to run a business where you may be in the supermarket business, but you don't have to visit everyone every day and check the money in the till. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.